Hey guys, Good Marks Goods here, and today I've got for you all a an, an antique butter dish by Barber. And being quadruple, that is a that is a rather good thing because quadruple plated pieces are high quality, and they do not make quadruple anymore. All right, so it's set up. Got the water bucket. The piece on the other side. You have the piece. They're going to deplate current, so you just use a battery charger with these little prongs. Red has to touch the piece you're going to deplate. Black has to touch the other piece. Try not to touch the water, of course. All right, well, that should be that. I got a filter paper to filter out the water at the end because you're going to get some silver goes into the bottom of the bucket. And I got a little bowl. A little bowl to see how much silver we get. It takes about 10 minutes or so to work itself through. And that's going to go. Let's see if I will. The silver is going to start bubbling. You can see color changing, so you all know it's sparking. Run it for five minutes, y'all. That's all you gotta do. It's been about four minutes, and I have not... I have not seen silver just flow off. I think it's silver. It's, it's like, hard to see. Uh, hard to know what you're looking at. Look at it. Silver is kind of like falling off into the bottom of the pocket like a waterfall. So... I assume that means there's a lot of silver on this piece. It's been about three or four minutes now. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and see if it'll come off on, in sheets. This is very cool. I'm getting I'm getting kind of excited at this point. Look okay, guys, it's like a, like a little waterfall of silver. Not lying. Or like a river, a river of silver. And normally, the plate on a normal piece of silver plate, the silver will will get loosened, but it won't actually fall into the water. This is unusual. What happens when you've got a normal piece? Is it kind of it kind of gets loose, and then you can scrape it off. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. I've been trying to run run this until I can get enough. I can get a clearer picture that the silver is all off. It doesn't seem to be happening. I think there's still some silver on the side on the piece that I'm still working on. <laughs> Look at how dark the, the water is, guys. I think that's all silver. So definitely a decent amount in there. So I think we're going to do now is going to... Well, I think we're going to go ahead and filter out that silver and get some fresher water. I'm thinking that the reaction might run faster if we can remove some of that silver out. So, let's see if that'll help. And I've got to start trying to filter it out and drying it off. Oh, this is cool. I'm really enjoying the way this is looking so far. So here's how it looks outside of the water bath. I took it out so we can fil filter out some of that water. And look, guys, this is crazy. Well, what I'm going for, I believe, is I'm trying to get it to where 
all that gray, that blackish gunk there, that's the silver. We want the piece to look greenish. That's the base metal. Whatever ma base metal that is, it's probably copper. But we can see it's starting to happen. There's a good, good amount of it, maybe like 30% from what I'm looking at, where the silver is completely stripped off. But there's still so much to go. It's taking a while. Normally with a normal piece, you'd strip it off in like five to ten minutes if I'm doing maybe a tray. But this piece is resilient. There's definitely plenty of silver still on it. So it it's looking like we're really promising. Maybe there is four times as much silver on this piece and there is an actual ounce of silver. I can't wait to get to get my yield. So it's going to be a little while to, till I, I can do that. There's a lot more work to do. Unfortunately, I lost some of the, the water due to this flimsy ass planter over here. But so what we're doing, as I said, I'm filtering out the water through three coffee strainers and we are getting silver to show up right here guys there is the silver show me the silver there it is up right in this your coffee filter it's so cool and there's a there's a decent amount now I don't know how much would be um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get it out of there I, I guess we'll have to use acid there's gonna be another acid acid trip acid working with acid is very scary um I've been in labs before I spent years in labs and I'm still scared of acid scary stuff but that's how you work with um, silver purify it with nitric acid and I have I have an area where I can go do that can't wait but yeah just gonna run this through a couple more times try to get more silver in there it clears up the water and then I'm gonna go ahead and run this this thing for a few more hours maybe like another hour before it gets dark the mosquitoes are already trying to eat me alive though so I don't know how long I'm gonna stay out that's fun though I'm, I'm loving doing this okay day one new day so I'm gonna go ahead and, and keep working on this piece look how dark how much silver I got captured into the, the filters guys there's still a little bit of water I'm gonna go ahead and try to, to add to the filters in a minute I start from scratch but look how dark it is there's still some visible there's some visible silver on the bottom of the bucket sorry about the shitty lighting I know it's very it's very bright. Just keep pouring it off. This is so what we want to see. This is this is exactly what I wanted to see when I said that there might be a lot of silver on a quadruple, an antique quadruple pillion piece. It sucks that I destroyed it. People on eBay are such picky buyers that I would have had to discount the sale price way too much. It would have been, I had to sell for a regular ordinary piece instead. Why not subject it to science and recycle it? be it for most of the water a little bit more but you all can see silver on the bottom more of the water So 
there should be some silver flakes on the bottom of the bucket. Maybe some dirt too. Probably some dirt. Maybe some copper. Some other, other stuff from old runs I've done. Okay, let's get back into the refill this bucket and get back into the onto the uh, battery charger. <laughs> 